All right, let's talk about the brand new Haylong Mining Dragon Mint 16 Terra Hash a Second Miner. So I posted a couple videos a few months ago or about a month ago, talking a little bit about the company, about the speculation that's going on with the company and what would happen if these miners were released. Now, yesterday, they started to show some more images of these things being released. On top of that, they also are trying to sell a Blake II script miner for over $10,000. But they are saying that this miner can do about two tera hash per second, which is fucking crazy. Like, I mean, if you go from your profitability range, even with the A3, at, as soon as those are released, you're going down by 60%. So there's a lot of big stuff going on in the mining community right now. You know, a big question is, is you know, should you buy this hardware or should you wait? You know, is Bitmain releasing something new? I know there's also been a lot of speculation about that. You know, a lot of questions that I've also had to my inboxes. You know, do you know that they're releasing anything new? Um, you know, what information do you have? You know, well, the best thing that I can say is that, guys, you have to do your due diligence, like I always tell you in previous videos, but just keep your eyes open. You know, follow Twitter, follow Instagram, go to Haylong Mining, check out the Dragon Mint, you know, see what's really going on. You know, see if they are really releasing you know, new videos, new images, new products, new specifications. I feel like that really is the best way to find out real information. So now let's talk a little bit about this new ASIC miner. Now, <clears throat> first of all, you have your Ant Miner S9, which is currently the most efficient, you know, ASIC mining hardware out there, um, or that we can purchase. You know, you have the GMO ASIC miners that are said to be doing 28 tera hash a second with the seven nanometer chips, um, but again, no pictures, no proof, no nothing. Um, but now we do have our 16 tera hash a second. Um, with these new Dragon Mint um, you know, miners. Now, what is this ASIC boost? So now the ASIC boost is basically some type of programming that's inside of the chip to give it more hashing power and be more efficient and use less power. Now, this was released about 11, 12 months ago, um, you know, the news about this ASIC boost, uh, and there's been a lot of patent wars over it as well. You know, this has kind of gone under the radar for the last five, six months, seven, eight months, it's even saying, you know, there's been a few people that have mentioned it, but there's been no real articles on it. Now, there's a couple different versions of ASIC Boost as well. So what I'll do is I'll make another video, which hopefully I'll get that done, you know, as soon as possible as well, um, about the ASIC Boost, what exactly is ASIC Boost, and how can it affect you. Um, but back to the actual miners. So if you were to put these miners side by side, you know, the 13.5 compared to your 16 tera hash a second with ultimately almost the same power draw, these things are quite more efficient. So now what does that do to the simple miner, the, someone that has 10 amp miners or has five amp miners or has one amp miner? Uh, well, this is gonna significantly increase the mining difficulty. So you have to figure within the next month or two months that the mining difficulty is going to increase exponentially. So on top of all of the new Ant Miner S9s that are being shipped out, you have all of these brand new 16 tera hash a second Dragon Mint miners that are gonna be landing in March, April, May. And on top of that, behind the scenes, you also have GMO's miners working and we also have Bitmain's new miners, and I say that because we don't really know, but we have some other miners working in the background. So the real question here is, number one, should we buy any more Ant Miner S9s because of the mining difficulty and the exponential raise that's about to happen in the next few months? You know, is it gonna be worth it to have these Ant Miner S9s? Number two, should you wait for any new hardware coming from Bitmain? Well, again, we don't know. It's only speculation. We don't know if this is real, that there's real, you know, hardware coming out. But, 
you know, from the looks of it, should they have new hardware coming out? Yes, because of these seven, seven nanometer chips that are being developed and all these other chipsets that are being developed in the new technology. Um, and number three, last but not least, you have to take everything into account. So if you are paying pretty much close to nothing for electricity, then any ant miner is gonna be efficient because you're paying nothing for the electricity. So these are the things that you have to take into account when you're thinking about this. Again, guys, thank you. Comment, tell me what you guys think in the bottom. I really wanna know your comments. Do you guys think that this is going to just totally throw off the ant miner S9s or is there still hope left in the small mining community? All right, guys, have a good one. Minor Digi out.